Today's topic is step response of RC circuit. To find the step response of RC circuit, we need this equation that is Vt is equal to V infinity plus V0 minus V infinity into e raised to power minus t over tau. And if you want to know the derivation of this equation or from where this equation come from, you can comment below and I will make a video on that. Here V0 is equal to initial capacitor voltage means voltage of capacitor when the time is 0. And V infinity is the final capacitor voltage and tau is time constant that is equal to RC. So we need to know these three values to find the step response of RC circuit. Let us take an example and draw the circuit first. So the switch is closed when the time is equal to 0 and V is the voltage across the capacitor and here is the current I. What we need to find is IT current that is flowing at time T and VT the voltage across the capacitor. Some parameters are given that is U of minus T that is equal to 1 when time is less than 0 and 0 when time is greater than 0. U minus T is basically the opposite of U of T. We know U of T is 0 when time is less than 0 but here u of minus t is 1 when time is less than 0. Similarly u of t is, is equal to 1 when time is greater than 0 but u of minus t is 0 when time is greater than 0. So it's basically the opposite of u of t. Let's take the first case when time is less than 0. When time is less than 0 the switch is open and when the switch is open so the right portion of circuit is separate from the left portion switch is open and we know when time is less than 0 u of minus t is equal to 1 u of minus t is equal to 1 so put the value of u of minus t in the voltage vt at time less than 0 is equal to u of minus t that is 20 into 1 which will be equal to 20 volts when time is less than 0 so v0 is equal to 20 volts this is the voltage across the capacitor when the time is less than 0. When time is less than 0, the switch is open. DC voltage source will have the capacitor as open circuited. The circuit becomes like this as the switch is open and capacitor behaves as open circuit to DC source. And let's redraw the circuit as this because capacitor has become open circuited. The voltage is 20 minus T that is equal to basically 20 volt now and 5 ohm resistor. So here is the voltage V0. Here is the current I. No path for the current to flow in the circuit. So I is equal to 0 and V0 is equal to 20 volts. So I is equal to 0 when time is less than 0. Let us move to the second case that says when the time is greater than 0. So when the time is greater than 0, the switch is closed. And as per given condition, when the time is greater than 0, u of minus t is equal to 0. So when u of minus t is equal to 0, then we have the value of voltage Vt is equal to 20 u of minus t volts here put the value of u of minus t now 20 into 0 is equal to 0 volts so the voltage across the capacitor when the time is greater than 0 is equal to 0 volts now to find the time constant that is equal to rc we have to find the equivalent resistance so this current source and this resistor can be changed into voltage source and resistor through source transformation and it will get easier for us to find the equivalent resistance. By a source transformation we can redraw the circuit. 
Here the current is 3 amperes and the resistance is 10 ohms. So to find voltage V is equal to IR 3 into 10 ohms that give us 30 volts. So in source transformation the resistor is in series with the voltage source. Hence 10 ohm resistor will be in series with the 30 volt voltage source. You can see my video on source transformation if you have any confusion here to find the equivalent resistance or we can say the Thevenin resistance Vs voltage source will be short circuited as per the rule of the uh, Thevenin theorem to find the Thevenin resistance. So voltage source will be short circuited and we have just two resistors that is 10 ohms and 5 ohms and these two resistors are in parallel so 10 in parallel with 5 ohm resistor gives us 10 over 3 ohms so tau is equal to rc r is 10 over 3 into 0 0.2 and we have 2 over 3 seconds here we know the voltage is equal to 0 volts. So this voltage source can be replaced by a short circuit because there is no voltage here and the voltage source is equal to 0 volts. And the short circuit denotes 0 volts. And we have to find V infinity here that is the final capacitor voltage. To find the final capacitor voltage we have here 0 volts. So this is a short circuit now and the total voltage is 30 volts now and to find the voltage across the capacitor we have to find the voltage across 5 ohm resistor because it is in parallel with the capacitor and we know the voltage is same in parallel so use the voltage divider rule that is 5 over total resistor that is 10 plus 5 into voltage source that is 30 volts so V infinity is equal to 10 volts. We have to find Vt from this equation. Let's write this equation again here. We just need to put the values here. V infinity is equal to 10 volts. V0 is equal to 20 volts. Minus V infinity is again 10 volts. E raised to power minus T over tau is 2 over 3 seconds. By solving this we get 10 plus 20 minus 10 is equal to 10 e raised to power minus 3t over 2. So take 10 as common and we get this value 10 into 1 plus e raised to power minus 3t over tau that is our vt. That is the value of voltage in finding the step response of RC circuit. Now we have to find the value of current. The given direction of current is this but from positive end of 30 volt we know current is flowing in this direction which is opposite to the given direction of current. So there will be a negative sign to show that the current is showing in the opposite direction. So minus and we have to find current across 5 ohm resistor so I is equal to V over R that is minus V over R and V is 10 into 1 plus e raised to power minus 3 over 2 and the resistor through the current is flowing is 5 ohms. It is equal to minus 2 1 plus e raised to power minus 1.5 t. This is the value of current. So we have found the step response of RC circuit that includes finding the voltage across the capacitor and the current flowing in the circuit.